Hey guys, welcome to LFM Season 9, Week 9 VR headset marks on my cheeks right now. Uh, we are at Hungaro Ring, and as always for this season, I'm in the Porsche 991.2 GT3R. Um, I love this track. Hungaro Ring, for some reason, is just, it's got a great combination of everything, um, and it's a lot of fun to drive for me. Um, but racing here can be tricky. So the set this week is more about survival than speed, but I feel it is really good. Um, I am inconsistent here. Uh, for most classes, most cars, depending on what sim I'm in, but in ACC right now with the set that I'm about to walk you through, uh, I am consistently running in the mid 146s on race fuel. And while that's still nowhere near top split times in LFM, I think for you mid and lower split racers, such as myself, uh, pointing the finger at me here, this set should be really good for you guys. It's really stable. Um, I, I found a lot um, in this set and I am really happy with it. So let's go ahead and make sure I hit the right button and we see what we've got here in ACC okay so this set uh, is done with track temps at 26 C uh, so make sure you adjust tire pressures accordingly um, every time I jumped into a online server for Hungaro ring or set up one locally this was kind of about the highest track temps I was seeing um, so you know go up or down a couple of PSI or tenths of a PSI I should say depending on what track temps we see in LFM this week. Um, if for some reason you find that this set is a little tail happy on corner exit, uh, what I recommend this week is just put in a couple of clicks of rear toe just to kind of help stabilize and get that car pointed forward uh, on corner exit. Uh, electronics, um, TC at three and four. Um, if you're really smooth on the throttle, you can go down to three and three and maybe even two and three. I'm not that smooth so three and four is kind of where uh, I ended up being happy with 46 liters in fuel this week that was enough to get me a full 25 minute stint uh, given my fuel use uh, roll bars are at two uh, brake bias at 47.8 uh, feel free if you want to roll that back to even 46.8 uh, I think this set is good it's stable enough um, I'm running fairly stiff bump stops up front um, with a little bit of range. Uh, could probably do with less to give me a little more stability on corner entry. Um, but this seems to be really good, especially after you get past that chicane and you've got kind of those sort of high speed right, left, or I'm sorry, left, right, left, right corner combination that's really hard for me to get the timing just right um i found that this set here for the dampers uh, i'm sorry not the dampers but the the bump stops uh the the values and the range uh seemed to really help keep that car stable if i was coming in too hot and i needed to just maybe add just a tiny little 10 15 percent of brake um if i went any softer on the front to try to keep that mechanical grip uh, what I was finding was that the front end was dipping just a little too much and I was losing the rear uh, when I'd get back on the throttle. It was just upsetting the balance of the car. Um, but if you find that you are really understeery uh, through cor mid corner and corner entry and yet you're still stable on exit, um, I take the rear bump stop rate up two clicks and bump that uh, bump stop range down to zero and you're gonna really get a lot of rotation out of the car i can't drive it like that but it rotates um dampers because hungaro ring is a bumpy track i just damp i just maxed out the dampers um not allowing the car to roll a lot very quickly uh seems to help keep it planted through each of the corners around here especially um after I forget what turn number it is, I think it's turn four or five. It's that really quick left hander uh, where you got to go then fourth gear hard on the brakes down to second for that nice big sweeping right hander. Um, I found that like 
there's some areas in that right hander that is really bumpy as you near the corner exit and just running the dampers maxed out the car felt really good through there uh arrow 75 millimeters of ride height on the back if you find that you're understeering only at the end of the race and are capable of dealing with a little bit of twitchiness at the beginning of the race um, just bump that rear ride height up a click or two make sure you test it out though before you just jump right into a race um, just so you can see how the car feels over the course of a 25 minute stint uh, brake ducks at three and three and i am running a front splitter uh, on one this week i'm sure if you're looking at um, some of the esports ready sets those guys are probably not going to run a front splitter um i liked it because with uh turn two especially uh turns two and three having that just that little bit of extra front downforce through those corners um really helped me kind of keep the car stable and just able to kind of really flow through there so that's all i've got for this week if you ran uh, my previous sets uh you know comment let me know what you're thinking about these sets uh below um, maybe give this video a like uh, just to help more people find these setups because again this is me keeping a promise to uh, try to help get more North American racers into ACC and LFM uh, to run with me in the evenings because it's still lonely. I've gotten a lot of positive feedback so far through comments uh, in Discord. Um, so thank you guys for that, those who have reached out. Um, but that's all I've got. That's it for this week. Uh, LFM Season 9, Week 9 at Hungaro Ring in the Porsche. Remember, be cool to each other out there, and I will see you in the next video.